Oops. Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to Discovering Natural. You guys might be watching it on DM Vlogs Live, but thank you so much for coming in. And uh, we're going to connect to my Amazon page. Uh, I'm going to be showing you something cool. Hi, everyone. I'm going to be showing you something cool, something great. And I'm excited because I've been wanting to show this to you for the longest time. So thank you so much for joining. So let's get started, right? Okay. Thank you everyone for coming in. My name is Shola and this is Discovering Natural. You can be watching me from Amazon. If you guys want to follow my Amazon page, I will really, really, really love it. If you do, you can follow my Amazon page by clicking on that. See that? Amazon.com slash shop slash discovering natural so a lot of things i've been doing a lot of hair related beauty related stuff and i was thinking of doing a clean with me and yeah so this clean with me video is going to be one that i'm going to be showing you my robot i just got this robot hi i just got this robot and i am so excited to show it to you so thank you so much i see you all coming in hi sheepy thank you so much for coming in so nice to see you on here so we're gonna get right into it today i am showing uh let me show you the item so this is it this is the robot vacuum cleaner from g50 and i Olua share how are you so that's the robot vacuum cleaner i have been wanting this robot vacuum cleaner for the longest time i've been wanting to use it and i'm so happy to show it to you so what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the carpet area we'll see how this works out but i want to just show you this item first of all so this is what it looks like right here and um i'm going to let let's do this i'm going to show you what is in the box okay so let's show you what is in the box okay so when you get this item this is what the box looks like right um the box contains, so you have a cover of on here. And this cover, you can use coupon code. There are different codes here. You can use their coupon code to get discount off the item. So in here, the first thing that you'll see is you'll see there. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to do this. Just give me one second. Let's start. Uh, yeah so let's start again okay so when you are when you unbox this it comes with some coupon code and information right over here and information about the item that you bought and when you go in here you have the user manual that comes with this you also have the aap download and robot connection that comes with this and then you have other stuff so this is the main robot right here it's not heavy at all you'll think it's heavy it's not heavy at all and it has these bristles in here so the manual let's use the manual so in the manual this is my first time unboxing it you know you always like you always know how i like looking at stuff and when i unbox it i like unboxing with you guys so this is the main unit and the unit as uh we're going to remove the unit information and um in here you have the main unit you also have a charging um, dock. You also have the water tank and also power adapter. And you have the manual, you have the cleaning tool. You also have batteries. So information, batteries and all the remote control also because you need batteries for the remote control. So installation, the first thing, connect the power adapter with the charging dock. Okay, so we're gonna go to the ground. So let's readjust where we are right now. We're gonna go to the ground so that we can do the unboxing. So bear with us while we move to the carpet area. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, okay, we're coming down to the ground. <laughs> Let me adjust everything. You guys are gonna see. This is going to be quite interesting. Let's see. 
Okay, so we are going to change the lighting so that we can see what we're doing. Yeah, okay. So you guys can see. So now what we're going to do is first thing first. We're going to remove this. You just remove the plastic wrap. Okay, so put the robot down like that. So, um, what we're going to do is let's see. So, the first thing we're going to do is use connect the power adapter with the charging dock. So, this is the yeah, this is the, okay, right there. And then we have the adapter right over here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so make this. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the card. So we have this over here. We just take everything out of the box. Everything that we need, we're gonna take it out of the box so that we have more room to work with. And I purposely didn't clean my carpet. Okay, so let's put this here. So these are all the stuff that we are going to be using. Okay, so connect the power adapter. I keep on saying that, you guys ignore me. Connect the power adapter with the charging dock. Use the cable ties to organize the excessive cable um, to prevent the cable from being stretched by the robot while cleaning, which will interrupt the charging dock's power. The charging dock indicator is solid when it has power and is off when the robot is charged. Okay, so this is the power adapter. Okay, power adapter. This is the power adapter. And you can see it comes with different adapter. What do they call this? Yeah, for different countries. For different countries, yeah. So everybody say hi to our cameraman. <laughs> So for different countries, it comes with different things here. It's so labeled on them. Yeah, it's labeled. So which which one is ours? The last one. This one. Yes. Sir. Okay. So this one is ours. We're gonna set that aside. And yeah, so you can see that I've clicked, I've attached that in there. So the next thing that we do is we're going to take this cord and connect it right over here so you want to connect it right over there mm -hmm. and then we are going to place the charging dock on the horizontal floor and connect the power so we're going to put it over here and we're going to connect it connect the power so I have, I'm trying to, let me move. So I have, uh, let me put my extension my extension cord. <laughs> I left yeah. it downstairs. Yeah, let me go. So you can get it from the okay. office. So yeah, so you guys, we're still, we're still doing this. Yeah, you see, it's gonna be in the office where I put it. So let's continue setting things up while we are doing this so let me make put more light Whew. how are you guys all doing hope you guys are having a wonderful day <laughs> so next we are going to be to ensure the robot can operate and regularly return to the charging dock do not move the charging dock randomly so the thing is that this comes with a charging dock you don't want to be moving the charging dock all over the place so always keep it in a similar place so that the robot knows to come back to the location where you have put it. I hope that explains things. Okay, so what we're going to do is we also have, where's the, 
Where did I put that? Okay. My husband moved this stuff. So we also have this thing right over here. So this is where, this is the stuff that puts all the beans, the dirt, and you can put it, put it over there. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, just unplug the one for the computer and throw me the computer card stuff. <laughs> I love this. This is just as live as it can be. <laughs> Yeah, I'll plug the computer one and trade to me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we have an adapter right over here. So I'm going to just plug the adapter for the robot. Plug that in here so that it can charge. So... Yeah, so we've plugged that in there. And you can see the light is green, meaning that it's ready. So it's green, ready to go. Okay, so we're just going to put that on the floor right over here. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do is to ensure the robot can return back regularly. So we're going to just put the this over here like this, okay? And then the next thing that we're going to do is um turn on the robot so this is a robot and we're just gonna turn it on and to turn it on there's an on switch right over here so the on switch is right over there okay you guys that's the on switch so this plug here what is that for Charge yeah, maybe this is to charge. Uh huh. So this is the on switch. So we're gonna turn on the robot. I'm gonna press on the on switch. Are you getting? Okay. I'm gonna turn on the on switch. Okay. Okay. So you. Awesome. So you can hear it. It said turn on. <laughs> so I have a lot of dirt on the floor. <laughs> Let me put my dirt. <laughs> pieces of hair and stuff. So now what we're gonna do now, now that we've turned it on, charging. So now it's charging method one. To charge it, turn on the robot and place it no more than one meet, meter in front of the charging dock. So you have to put it near the charging dock so that it turns, it um, does what it's supposed to do. Once the start announcement is finished, press and hold the clean button for three seconds. Two, three. Beginning to charge. So that is how it's beginning to charge. You can see the light is red. Okay. You guys see the light is red. So now it's charging. Awesome. <laughs> and look how it's moving. That is pretty cool. Yeah, it's so quiet. This is really cool. I like it. The robot will automatically search for the charging dock. So what the robot is doing now is it's searching for the charging dock. Um, woo, it's moving. So now you can see that the robot went into the charging dock. So yeah, right. so and now it's charging so. by itself. So but I don't have to do anything. You don't have to set up anything. You don't have to, you can just put the robot somewhere and the robot will find the charging dock and charge by itself. So right now this robot is charging. The robot will automatically search for the charging dock and proceed with charging. The second method is to turn on the robot and place it no more than one meter away from the charging dock. Once the announcement, you can now press the charging button on the on the remote control. So you do have a remote control right over here. And I like, this is one thing I like about this company. I like, unlike a lot of companies that I've worked with and I've bought their product, a lot of them don't come with batteries. So this one comes with battery. So we're just gonna open the battery. 
okay? And the battery is um, AAA batteries. So you want to use two AAA batteries, okay? And you're just gonna put the battery in there like that. Okay, so make sure it's facing the right way. So you can charge it using the remote control to charge it. The third method of charging is um, you turn on the robot and you place the robot, the, you place it into the charging dock directly and then make sure it aligns and then it will charge. So you have three methods of charging this robot right over here. Um, if you wanna use this daily, this can be used daily. You just have to clean the charging points right over there, those charging, charging points and um, go from there. So another way that you can charge it is if you insert the power adapter into the side. Remember this side? So you can charge it by taking the adapter and attaching it right there directly, directly into the robot. And you can charge it that way. So you have four different ways of charging. So you have four different ways of charging if you want to charge this robot. Very easy to charge. Okay, so um, the next thing that we're gonna do is we do have the remote control and I wanna show you the remote control. The remote control actually has a Wi-Fi uh, button so you can set up your Wi-Fi so that it's automatically uh, programmed in there. It has an app, so you're gonna use an app to com um, computerize everything. It also has a charging button. So this is the button that you click on when you want to charge. You can also control the robot by going up, forward, left, or right, okay? Uh, you also have right here is the power. If you want to also do spot cleaning, you can do spot cleaning with this. If you want the robot to turn around, here is the button for the robot to turn around. And then if you want to switch up the volume of the voice, you can click here to clean the edges. So the corners and stuff, you can use this to clean the edges. So the remote control is very, very important. Do not lose it. Very, very important. Okay. Um, so we can also use an app. I'm not going to be connecting the app today. We'll just do it another time. So um, this app is compatible. Uh, okay. Make sure the mobile device is connected to the app. Let's see. Do we need to use the app for for this. So AP download and robot connection. Scan the code to download. Okay. So um, yeah, so I can use my phone to download the app and then use that. Uh, make sure the mobile connector, okay, you just connect everything. You log in, you add your device and you can do all that setting. Um, I think I might, might have to do that. I can do that another time. I don't think, do I? Do I need to use the app? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to look at that later because I don't think I need to use the app. I think I can just let the machine. Yeah, we'll use the remote. Yeah, we'll use the remote. So instead of using your app, we'll use the remote. Okay. So let's do something. Um, what is this? So let's see if we want to clean. So to clean the first method, after turning on the power switch on the side, Press clean on the robot to start cleaning the entire house. Press clean button again when cleaning and the robot will suspend its current task. So you can also tap the clean button on the app. So you could use the app or you could use the remote, yeah. Okay, or you can even use right here. So tap the clean button on the app to start cleaning while Cleaning. If you press the pause, the robot pause is cleaning. Okay, so let's try that. Um, let's try with the remote. Okay. Um, what is this for? So I think this is the cleaning section. So yeah, let me look at what that one is. This here is the water task tank assembly. So this is to put the dirt and stuff. 
and also it has a mopping so you have a mopping um cloth we'll deal with that later add would flow exactly mm -hmm. okay so let's see about this thing moving around we just remove some stuff and go from there okay so if we want to start after turning it on so let me press this i'm going to just press this right over mm -hmm. here Let's start. Let's start. Okay, I want it to go forward. Okay, I'm using the remote. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do? So it's just moving. So I want to see if it's gonna pick up all this dirt. You guys see this dirt? I have some dirt over here. It's just pieces of my hair. <laughs> Let's see how if it will pick it up. So um. All you just do is just press this. It says cleaning makes me happy. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's gonna run you. Over. It's gonna run me over. I want it to go over here. So let's. Okay. You see the arrow. Yeah. Look at the. You see how. Okay, just one second. Yeah, you're not in focus. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying, yeah. I know, but this is what you're gonna use. This is better. Okay. So let's see. This is like a toy. So I have some dirt over here. And let's let me use the arrow. Oh. Okay. I want you to move this. Move the other one. Turn around. So the thing is, is it has a forward button um, and the forward button, but it doesn't have a backwards button. So always use the remote control. This wants to turn it around so that it goes forward. Oh, it cleaned it. Do you guys see that? Okay, I'm going to do, you have to zoom, okay? So I'm going to put more dirt over here. See this dirt? One, two, three. You guys see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the remote control to turn it. Where the clean is, that's the forward. So if you look at this, you see how this is facing, the, the sign is facing this way. So I'm going to use the remote control to turn it around. Okay, I'm going to turn it more so that it comes this way. Okay, so let's zoom, zoom into this dirt right over here. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to come this way. Let me see if I can find more dirt. Yeah, I saw it. I had a string. Yes. So I have a string, dirt, right over here. And then we're going to zoom it. I'm going to come forward. Yay! It got that. You guys see? Yeah, we missed this one. <laughs> so we're going to, I'm going to put it, put more dirt. Where's more dirt? I have um, crumbs. Now, these are tiny, tiny dirt. You guys, these are like my breadcrumbs from breakfast at the egg sandwich. <laughs> so I'm gonna just sprinkle some of it right over here. You can, you guys can see it, but if you zoom, it's right over there. You guys can see it, but it's really, really tiny. So let's see if the robot can see it. So I'm just gonna turn the robot around. Okay, I'm just gonna let it play. I'm not gonna control, I'm gonna let it go upwards this way. Okay, so we're gonna go upwards that way. Oh, stop, stop. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back. Okay, I'm gonna move it this way now. Now this is where the dirt is, right over there. Turn it around again. 
Now, what I want to do is that because the dirt is really deep in there, I want to do a deep clean. So to do a deep clean, let's see. Um, spot cleaning, we can do a spot cleaning. And um, to do a spot cleaning, place the robot on the lower left corner of the area. So lower left corner of the area. This is the left corner. Okay. And then we're going to, okay, do the spot cleaning. Okay. So we're going to turn it around. And I'm going to play, use this. Okay. Okay, so this is the spiral stuff right over here. Yeah, that spiral area. I wanted to do, a, I'm going to do a spot cleaning, and this is a spot cleaning right over there. So this is the spot I wanted to clean. So put it right here, and then do. Okay, I'm going to clean. Okay, I'm going to clean this area. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm going to clean this area. <laughs> Okay, I might be too much fun with this. Next, um, this is the, let me see the other area. Spiral cleaning. We're going to do spiral cleaning right over here. So spiral cleaning is going to be right over here. So let's do spiral cleaning. So you guys see how it's going around? Wow. So it knows not to go into the charging port. Okay. And you can pause it. So the way it's cleaning now is just cleaning around and around as power clean. So the next, um, we can do edge cleaning. So if we have an edge, a corner, so I'm going to use this area for our edge cleaning, okay? So this is going to be our edge cleaning. So I'm going to go to the edge. Oh, stop, stop. Take a break. Okay. Take a break. Take a break. Okay, I'm going to do the edge. So it's going over there. It's going under. It's going under the bed. Oh, it's climbing. Oh my gosh. It's climbing. It's actually climbed, you guys. It's actually climbed. Wow. I didn't know it was climbing into the under the bed. This is gonna be so good because under my kids' bed is a mess. Oh, wait, they're gonna have so much. Okay. So you see it's going to the edge, it's only doing edge. Woo! Stop it. Okay, so you can see how we did the edge like that. Um, so other things that it does is you can do other things with it, but um, let me see if it's gonna go back into the charging port. So if we have to let it go back into the charging port, remember, you're just going to hold it down for three seconds. One, two, three. Oh, was it three seconds? Okay, it's trying to go back. See? Go back into the charging port now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you guys remember they said if you want to put it near the charging port, it has to be close to the like one meter mm -hmm. close to it. So let's put it close to it and then hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Beginning to charge. 
You see? Let's see if it goes back into the charging port. Come on. It's looking for the charging port. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. It's right here. Okay, see? Charging. It went into the charging port. I didn't touch it. Let me show you again. One thing I think you should do is the charging port should be beginning to charge. Wait. The okay. Take a break. The charging port, when you are, wherever you put the charging port, make sure it's against the wall so that the charging port doesn't move around. So now I'm going to let it charge. So we're going to put it near the charging port. Make sure it's not too far from the charging port. And what we're going to do is just hold on for three seconds. One, two, three. Beginning to charge. Okay, so watch what happens. Charging. Perfect. So it goes to the right charging port, goes to the right place that where you want it to be. Yeah, so I think it does a good job. The instructions come in different languages, and um, you can you can get it in your language and stuff. I absolutely, absolutely love love this. Uh, so I'm going to also show you while this is charging, we're going to do other stuff. So let me let me show you guys some stuff. So put it, put it here. Let me get a basket of things. Yeah, the basket over there. So I'm going to show you guys some stuff. This is so great. So when it comes to cleaning, there are other things that I clean with. Um, I know you guys are asking me some questions. Let me see all the questions. Yeah. Wow, Sybil says, I think though I would have to pick it up more quickly. I know you are learning. I know. Oh my goodness. Everybody's enjoying it. Thank you. Good morning. So, yeah, bring that. So, I'm going to show you some other things that help me when I clean. Um, so, when it comes to cleaning, especially cleaning the house and stuff, there are other things that I use. So, this is the Rocket Fish uh lcd cleaning kit so this kit i use that to just clean the laptop you can use it to clean tv very very good you also when you are cleaning oh it's still charging i know you're charging baby sorry it was saying charging i touched it and it was like charging <laughs> so this is what i use for cleaning my uh laptop screens TV screens, all this stuff you can use them. Use this for charge for cleaning. Uh, also, when it comes to cleaning goo, sticky, sticky things. When you have um, like sticky gum, anything sticky anywhere, get you this goo gun. Goo gun is what you want. Let me turn that light already. So goo gun, this one, yeah, this one. Things. So Goo Gone, it removes, you guys see, it removes grease, it removes gum, stickers, crayon, tape. So anything that you, sticky, sticky things, just get your cleaning cloth, your microfiber cleaning cloth, dab it and put it on it and clean, clean it out. Goo Gone, excellent, excellent. I will never, I mean, I, I'm telling you, this is a lifesaver and a little bit goes a long way. I've only in the past 10 years or so, 10, 15 years, this is my second bottle. And it a little bit goes a long way and it has a very nice lemony scent. So always stock up on this. Um, another thing that I feel like you should have if you have wood in your house, old English scratch cover. So this is old Eng English scratch cover because with wood, or anything of that sort, you always have scratches. There's going to be scratches out there. It's going to, you know, the wood can scratch. So when you take this and you dab a little bit of it on the wood and you clean it, it's going to remove the scratches. Uh -huh. So next, the Resolve Carpet Cleaner. Yes. So now I can take this, I can spray it on the floor when I have a dirt and I'll just spray it on the floor and I'll just leave this for about 
five minutes maximum, leave it for five minutes. It will remove the dirt from the floor. And then you can even use your robot cleaner to come and clean that area afterward. So it's a couple of things it does. It removes dirt. You spray and soak, wait for five minutes, and then take your rag and just blot it out. So if there's a stain or something, you can just take your rag and just blot it out like that. And that is one thing. This is one thing that the way you, after you cleaned your house, finally get yourself a breeze. Yes. For breeze fabric cleaner, when you change your beddings, spray it. And the spray is very light. Mist spray, very, very light spray. Very, very light spray. And this is the extra strength. I love extra strength. If you have a house full of pets, a house full of athletic kids, <laughs> You want to use the Febreze cleaner. When you get the Febreze cleaner, get you your refill. Yes. So then, of course, you want to get a lot of microfiber towels. These are the six to seven things that I have to have in my stash. I cannot do without it. Um, one other thing that we're going to do, let's go back to our robot. Um, one thing that I want to say is that the robot cleaner, it also has a routine maintenance, okay? So you want to make sure you are cleaning the charging points regularly. Turn off, when you clean it, turn off the robot and remove the plug and just wipe it down. So you can use your microfiber towel and clean it. Don't use solutions, don't use any water, no chemicals, whatever. Just take a dry cloth and clean the charging port area, okay? You can also clean. So this is how we empty the dirt. So we're going to empty the, empty the dirt next. Remember those little, little dirt we had? Don't keep it inside your robot. You gotta clean, you gotta empty it. So we're gonna demonstrate that next. Thank you, little Nikki. Thank you so much for following me on Amazon. If you guys are not following me on Amazon, thank you for following me. So let me just say a big hello and thank you for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, so now I want to learn how to use the cleaning, um, the dust area, okay? Press the dust bin, water lift. Yeah, so you could also do water wash. You could put a water in there. So you can put, what you do is that you can take this and just fill it with water right over here. So there's a section here. I just fill it, you just fill this with water right over here. Okay. And then once you fill it with water, the word there says, please do not use mop function on carpet. This cannot be used on carpet. This is only for hardwood floors and stuff so we have carpet all over this area but what you can do is you can fill this with water and you can use it um please take out the water tank before you charge the robot and you want to just schedule so with the app use the app to schedule your cleaning area or cleaning times so hopefully that will um suffice uh yeah okay so um, that is it. You all, if you guys enjoyed this, enjoy my cleaning with my robot, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this live. I appreciate you all for coming in. And um, yeah. You need to disconnect the canister. Which canister? The debris, the dirt. Yeah. Okay. So we do need to disconnect it to remove the dirt. So we're going to be cleaning the dust bin right here let me do this i'm gonna clean my <laughs> yeah i'm using i'm even my lens you can see i'm gonna show you the microfiber can you hold the camera on? you see you guys will be able to see me much better ha huh? we're cleaning the lens i'm cleaning you guys awesome <sighs> hi guys let me make sure i hold the, hold the camera mm -hmm. Awesome. Yay. 
Okay, so we are going to be cleaning the dust bin. So let me show you how you do that. I'm going to, so to clean the dust bin, press the dust bin release buckle, take out the dust bin and stuff. So I'm going to. So it's out. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Stop. You're going to take a break. So now if we can zoom in to the dustbin area. So the dustbin area is remove before use. We should have removed that. <laughs> you guys remember to remove this before use. Um, the dustbin area is, let's remove that right over, over here. Okay. Oh yeah. So right over here, it says press. So we're going to press it down. So this is the dust bin area. And I'm going to show you all the dirt that we got. Open it up. You guys ready to see? You guys see that? That's all the dirt just in this small carpet area that we did. If you feel this is not working, it is working. It's doing a good look at my breadcrumbs, the hair. Remember the hair that I showed you? And this has a filter. So you do have a filter section right over there. And see, just in that small area. Wow. I can't believe how much dirt. I thought this carpet was clean. <laughs> So this is all the dirt that came out. Um, you do have all these brushes and stuff that you can use to clean, clean things out and stuff. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jason. Jason, thank you so much for following. Thanks. Look at the dirt. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Look at that. This is amazing. You all see. See all the dirt that came out? And it was just this small area. Okay. I don't know what this. Yeah. So this one, I'm just going to put it back like that. I'm going to close this. And we're going to put, put it put it back in there. Like that. Very easy. And this comes in different colors. So you can get it in black. If you don't like white, I just like white. So you can get it in black. Um, you can remove this label if you want to. I'm going to keep it on here because this has the SQL code. Um, Q, Q, what do you call it? QR. QR code form if you want to get the app and stuff. So let me... Oh, thank you, Loretta. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, Loretta. Loretta is like, I am watching. So let's, I'm going to just do it again. So let's see if we can clean some more, just a little bit more. Let me move my dirt. Ew. So look at it. This is what they call a dust bunny. This is a total dust bunny. Look at that dust bunny. Ew. Ew. My husband is trying to zoom in. Ew, that's too nasty. Ugh. So let me see if I can play. Ooh. Cleaning makes me happy. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's play with it some more. Where are you going? Oh, oh my gosh. It just, it picked up. It was trying to pick this up. Okay, let's put it away again. So that we have more room. You guys, we're gonna, this is it. <laughs> Hello. 
So yeah, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun. We're gonna have so much fun cleaning downstairs. But y'all, please keep on staying tuned with us. Um, I appreciate you guys. And guess what? I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Let's keep on playing. And let's show them more. Okay, I'm going to just rotate it. Yeah. Bring it. This is my new toy. Oh, my gosh. This is my new toy. Let's go. Bye, guys. Say bye-bye. Cleaning makes me happy. Bye, guys. <laughs>